While human trafficking seems to be an issue many tried to solve, but you really don't know what to do. Taking all approaches from helping the victims to exposing the offenders, organizations are now meeting under one roof to try and combat the issue. Our Justin Doherty joins us with the update. Robin, the numbers are what organizations want you to know. John TV has found the average fine for picking up a prostitute in Oklahoma County is $100 or less. Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics has made 132 arrests relating to human trafficking since last year. And the not-for-profit No Boundaries has more than 450 encounters with prostitutes and sex traffickers. All of this discussed as these organizations work together to victims to help victims of human trafficking. It was mind-blowing to me. The numbers are what grabbed this UCO junior. I was like, what is happening? But the stories are what shocked Cal Doherty. I'm glad I came. It's just... It's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I was lost for words. Cal was in the crowd of hundreds at UCO discussing the issue of sex trafficking in Oklahoma City. And then it opens up to see, like, there's more than what you actually think. Members of the panel included OBN, John TV's Brian Bates, who told stories of watching preachers pick up prostitutes. I thought that was crazy because every Sunday they're there preaching, do right by God. And also the president of No Boundaries, Lori Basie, the leader of an outreach organization providing clothes, job opportunities, and counseling to victims of sex trafficking. And walk the girls out of such horror. An issue Basie knows, if defeated, will take everyone. Spreading the news and letting people know. And try to mobilize our community to, to do something about modern day slavery right here in Oklahoma City. And another issue discussed today was sex trafficking moving to the internet, something the organization leaders feel uh, will take a whole new approach. Kelly?